What is up everybody? Um, it has been a while since I posted. Yes, I know and I don't really have an excuse for you because honestly, I just wasn't doing it. I don't know, whatever. So I am back and I am going to bring you along today on a fun little vlog I have going. I'm going to self-tan because clearly you can tell that your girl is pasty AF. I have literally not been this pale since like seventh grade. And if you knew me in seventh grade, it was not a good look. So we're not going to go back there. We're moving forward. We're going to self tan. Um, I use the same tropez and it says you can leave it on for three hours. And I usually do that when it's, when I'm a little darker, but I haven't seen the sun in like months. So we're only going to leave it on for two. So it's a little more of like a natural look. Um, yeah. So, and then we're going to go, I'm going to get ready. I'll show you some makeup that I've been loving. I tried some like cheaper ones. Um, and they work just as well as like the high-end ones that I showed you in my last video. So I'm going to go through that and then also get ready for some pictures I'm going to take for my blog. Um, I started a blog. I'm not going to tell you the name yet because it's not really ready and I don't want people to see it. But I'm super excited for it and I'm going to take some content for that and then also write some. Um, so yeah, if you want to see a little day in my life, stay tuned and I will be back once I am looking a little better better bronzed hopefully so I shall be back all right so I know I have already done my makeup but it's because I actually recorded it and I realized that it was going to be a very long video if I did my makeup and then my hair and then everything else so you get the finished look so you go from nasty to cute very quickly and we love that and also I know it doesn't look like I'm that tan right now but it's because I just showered probably like 15 minutes ago and usually when I shower after I take the Saint Tropez off it kind of like comes off but then it develops and it comes back so I'm hoping it comes back so now I'm going to show you what I do for my hair it's really simple and um it's just basic curls but I'm exposing myself right now <laughs> and I really don't care because if you do know me you probably already know that um so when I curl my hair I wear extensions fun fact um, and it's not for the length, it's purely for, um, I have really thin hair and when I curl my hair, the curls either look like not cute or they, um, just don't really stay that well. So I wear extensions and another cool thing is, is li guys, literally I have had these since high school and I'm freaking 23 years old. So, talk about an investment. At first, they are kind of expensive, but like, you know, it's expensive to be cute. <laughs> Sometimes they do kind of hurt. But as you can see, like, the curled part is the extension, and then the other part is like my real hair. So, although, I will say when I'm actually able to get a freaking haircut, oh, um, I guess I should show him. I should make a debut. Hold on. This is Milo. Milo, look. Look at the camera. Oh, you're so precious. So this is my cute little baby. Um, we got him at the animal salt shelter and he's adorable. So he keeps meowing in the background if you hear him. That's who it is. So I'm gonna put him down now. Oh, but he honestly loves the camera. So you'll definitely be seeing more of him. Okay, back to the hair. But like I said, I'm in desperate need of a um, color because your girl's starting to turn orange again. And if you knew me when I had start with blonde hair, bless your heart because that was disgusting. Like actually disgusting. And then my mom finally let me get highlights. And I never stopped because that's who I am. I did try going darker once and honestly, I wasn't a fan. I was for a little bit, but it was not a long-term thing. That is for sure. And any of you hairdressers who are watching me put these in and are saying, like, you're not doing it right, blah, blah, blah. I really don't give a shit. Because I'm doing what works for me. Sometimes I do um, tease my hair, but I haven't washed my hair. I, I think I washed it yesterday or something. So it's pretty good to go. Okay. So, yeah, I just add, there's the back. I just add two pieces really in it and then sometimes I will add some on the side like once I get it curled if it looks kind of weird just for more volume okay so 
Now I am going to add some dry shampoo. Um, just because I haven't really, you know, washed my hair. Uh. And plus, sometimes if I spray enough in here, it will kind of make the top part of my head look a little better because of, like, the powdery color will trim my hair more of the color I really want it to be. I've tried tremendous amounts of freaking purple. Ooh. That did not make my hair. Uh, purple shampoo and nope, doesn't work. So you will not be dyeing your hair with purple shampoo like those TikTok trends, which I'm sure you could, but not my disaster of hair. Okay, so that's all ready to go. And then I'm just gonna split it down the middle of what I think is equal. And then I use, I'm so bad at this, um, a hot tools. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure what the barrel size is. I thought I would say on it, but if you're really curious to know what it is, you can just type in model 1181 and maybe if I can find it, I'll link it below, but, um, that's what I'm using. And again, I'm no hair whiz. So the way, uh, the way I use this is not the proper way to use it. I don't use the, uh, clamp which honestly i've seen many people that actually use the clamp and it looks pretty good so i need to i need to learn how to use the clamp okay so we're just gonna feel it out pretty much and then come down a little scrunch scrunch up and then just pull it down and voila so there is that and so now I'm just going to do that for the rest of my head. And sometimes I don't really do the extensions just because I don't really want to damage them that bad. So maybe I will just go like this <laughs> and start from here. So I'm going to do that for the rest of my head. look I'm probably going to so like now here comes my OCD of picking out little pieces that are not as curled as I'd like them to be to match the rest of my head so pretty much now I'm just gonna go back and pick through them and find the pieces that do not match which I think it's hard about curling your own hair you can never see the back so maybe I'll just Sometimes I pick random pieces and just curl them in the back just so I know that it, there are waves happening back there. Because nothing is worse than putting all your hair in the back and it's pretty much straight. And you look like an idiot too. Okay, so that is good. Um, maybe I will spray it a little bit. Uh, so I don't usually actually use hairspray because I don't really like the texture of it and I kind of like letting my hair fall out or you know what if you can see that they kind of flip out so I am gonna take believe it or not this is gonna shock many people right now I don't own a straightener because my hair is literally pinned straight if I let it dry when I say pinned straight I mean like like I don't need a straightener obviously because I don't have one so oh frick Did I just ruin that <laughs> See, I'm no cosmetologist here. I'm no hairdresser. I think I did. 
You know what? That is life. We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna try and do this. This is definitely not what you're supposed to do, but here we are. Okay. My God, that looks terrible. All right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. This is my thinking face. Okay, we're gonna go to this side until I get that side. Alright, you know what? This is just gonna have to happen. I'm just gonna take piece by piece. Yeah, this will be the last time you guys ever take advice from me. I know. It's okay. There's that one. Oh, looking much better. This is a great decision. Great decision. Okay, this is the last piece of hopefully I didn't frick it up. Cool. We love this, we love that. Okay, so now we got some little curls in. We're just gonna call them little natural guys. I don't really like really heavy curls or anything and I don't think this is too heavy. It's super cute, it's super cute. So um, what I put on for hairspray is the, I don't know how to say it, so you guys can just read it. Look at me in my hand again, doing our thing. Super cute. And I like this stuff because it smells pretty good. Okay. Oh, scrunch, scrunch. Cool beans, cool beans. Awesome. So that is the finished look. Now I am going to pick out some outfits for my blog post to write about, which I actually have a lot because I went shopping before quarantine and I actually should probably put those up there. And I have some new stuff. I'm gonna do a video on um, a little sneak peek of the Express Style trial box. I tried that for a month and I will give you my opinions on it if it is like, you must do it, you must stay away from it, and all that. But some of the clothes I am shooting today are for that. But the other video will just be a review on it. So let's find those clothes. This one I have not worn because literally right when I got it, we were like put on lockdown and it was very depressing because I was so excited to wear it. So the tags are still on it. So it's this cute bodysuit. Like how freaking cute is that? And the straps, there's like two little cute little spaghetti straps like that. And the back, like, I'm sorry. That is adorable. Should probably take the tags off now because I'm not returning it. Um, but I'll put it on and show you what it looks like. Like, this is me super pissed because we can't go anywhere because look how freaking adorable it is. So cute. And I have no boobs, just so you guys probably know that, but I am actually wearing a strapless bra and obviously because of the back, I can't latch it. So I kind of just tucked them into the back and you can't really, maybe when I go back and edit it, I might be able to tell, but I personally couldn't tell when I was, um, putting it on and everything, but like how cute is it? And then I paired it with also, this is from the fricking cat. His name is Milo. I don't know if I said that. I can't remember, but, um, I paired it with this necklace also from Express. It's kind of hard, honestly, to adjust because it's, there's so many layers and it's just one necklace. So that kind of is a bummer. And then also these earrings, which I think I got at just like, um, honestly, probably Claire's because they're just like your basic, actually Forever 21, that's where I got them. I do know that now. Forever 21, there's like a bunch of different um, sizes. These ones are the smallest hoop size, but literally I'm obsessed with this. Like even with a, um, like a black leather jacket or a black denim jacket, like that'd be super cute. So hopefully this quarantine ends soon because this is adorable and it's super stretchy too. Um, Cause I, I, I love the double strap look. I think that is pretty. So I will enter here the picture that I got from this outfit. Let's try on the second one now. This one is honestly, I kind of like this one a little better just because it's like flowy and you can't really tell because of the material, but it has like cute little bow on the top of it. So you can like tighten it or you could probably like loosen it up a little bit if you want. But um, it is like more of a cropped 
not cropped, but it is like a shorter fit and it has a little singy waist, so it really like sucks you in, which is like <laughs> great. But this one is super cute. It's super girly and you can wear it pretty much like any time of the year. You can put a jacket on it for the winter or um, for the spring or fall. So this one, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to take some pictures outside if I can get my boyfriend to cooperate, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that to happen. But if I do, I will insert those pictures right here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more um, outfit, which is really, I like this one a lot. This one's more of like work approved, I guess. Um, this is one of the outfits or one of the pieces that I got from the Express Style Trial Box. So let's put that one on. All right, this is number three, and it's technically not the top underneath. I've just paired it with that. It's more of the jacket, or I guess they called it a blazer, but when I got it, I did not know it was going to be, like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's, like, felty material, which is kind of weird. I don't know, but, I mean, it looks a lot better off camera than it does on. Let's see if I can get... So it goes pretty far down. Eh? Ooh. Ah, felt like the Grinch there doing the thing, you know? Um, but it is super comfy. It is like really stretchy. I'm gonna size medium. And the thing with the style trial box, which I will mention in my other video, is that um, you, you can't, like what I like about going to the store is you can try the clothes on, but you can't really try it on. So I definitely think I would have gotten a small just because there is a lot of fabric still. And I think it would have fit me a lot better. But, um, so this is technically what I wore for our, on Fridays, we can wear like casual kind of things. So I wore it with just black jeans and um just this but this would also look cute with like black pants like work pants if you wanted but super plain super basic and just super cute all right you guys that is all i have for this video let me know if you like it by giving it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um let me know in the comments also what you want to see next i really look forward to making more videos and trying to be a little bit more consistent because i really need to work on that um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.